20,000 in February. Wow. So this is this is this month so far. All right, what's going on everyone? Bashar Ketu here. Today we are with Alvin Mentera, who is uh, one of our BJK University members. Um, Alvin been with us for a few months here. Uh, he's had great success with his first product on Amazon. So I wanted today to bring him up where he can shed some light on his experience so far, what he's learned through the journey so that he can give his insight to you guys, people that are wanting to get into this business um, to, so that you, know, you can learn from someone who's had it, you know, had a firsthand experience and kind of, um, you know, shed some light on some of the things that he's gone through that maybe I haven't gone through myself or other people haven't gone through. So welcome, man. Good to have you here today. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. Nice Absolutely. You know, at first I thought you were at the gym and you told me that's your home gym. That looks pretty sick, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's pretty sick, bro. Funded by uh, my Amazon business. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's super cool. That's super cool. Well, look, man, let's go ahead and get into it. I know you're a busy guy. I've been chasing after you to do this interview for a little bit. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so why don't you tell us first, um, who is Alvin? What do you do for a living? And kind of give us a little background story about you. Um, yeah, my name is Alvin Montero. Um, you know, I'm a typical guy. Um, grew up in a small town, whatever. And, um, right now, uh, I work at a factory. Um, been working there for like 10 years. As a, we'll make ice cream over there. Uh, it's a good paying job. I'm, I'm a machine operator. I'm married. I got two kids. Um, you know, very busy lifestyle. Um, yeah. Cool, man. And you just had a, a newborn like not that long ago, right? Yeah, two of them. I went back to back. Oh, wow. We'll I got, yeah, I got a, a one-year-old and a two-year-old. My son just turned uh, one a couple weeks ago. That is awesome, man. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure it's, 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 a, it's a handful, right? Oh, yeah. Nonstop <laughs> work. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So let's go into, okay, so you're, you know, you, you've been working uh, your job for 10 years, and then now you're doing Amazon alongside your job. Um, let's talk about how that looks like. You know, how are you bouncing around your father? You got two kids. Does your wife work or no? Yes, she works part-time at a restaurant. Wow. So she works, you work, she you guys work also. kids, and you do yeah. Amazon. Okay. So I need you to walk me through how you do that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you want, you want to know like my daily routine? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I, I live life running on like four hours of sleep on average. Wow. Um, so when people say, you know, they don't have time to do something, you know, I always tell them, you know, that's an excuse, bro. Look at me. You know, I'm going to college. I work full time. I, I got two kids. I don't got a babysitter. You just started going to college, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just start, uh, started taking some uh, college courses for uh, industrial automation. Wow. Okay. Uh, this was kind of like my background plan. If I was going to stay at the factory, you know, I, I wanted to continue to move up. So, you know, taking some courses, get some uh, certifications. Um, but yeah, my day is pretty busy. Um, I work at night. Um, so nine, uh, nine at night to five in the morning, I get off work. Um, sometimes I like, squeeze in a little gym time. Uh, after that, I got to take like a three hour nap. Um, that three hour nap, once I wake up, my wife will wake me up. Hey, I'm going to work. And from there, I'm taking care of my kids all the way until like four in the afternoon. And when she comes home, I either get like another small nap in and then I go back to work. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you you work full time. You got two kids. Your wife works, so it's not like she's home taking care of the kids all day. Right. You obviously work out, take care of your your health, which is great. You just decided to go back to school. Yep. And you started the Amazon business. And I started Amazon. Yeah. So let's talk about how Amazon plays a role in all that. How are you fit in Amazon and all this? Because I get a lot of questions like, hey. Can I do Amazon in the morning, at night, on the weekends? I work full time. I go to school. You know, how are you juggling with that? Um, like for me, uh, it kind of works out because I, I work at night, so I'm awake. So when it comes to like talking to to the uh, suppliers, um, I'm able to do that at my job, like on my breaks or on my lunches. You know, um, I'll check emails with the suppliers and stuff like that. But I mean, pretty much, I just squeeze in Amazon time like um, all day. You know, if I'm with the kids, you know, maybe um, they're watching cartoons or whatever. You know, I can pull up my phone, kind of check, you know, um, everything I'm doing, my, my messages with Fiverr, um, suppliers, etc. But I get a lot of work done at night. Okay. So most of your work is done at night. Now, how did you, because I mean, there was a learning curve, you had to go through oh, yeah. the program, you had to go through all that. 
when did you squeeze that in? Um, I want to say like days off. The days off, I would. So when I first signed up for the course, uh, I kind of blew through it, you know, just watched all the videos um, back to back. And then after that, I just started like watching them like um, as I actually did this, uh, the things. Sure. You know, week by week. Um, on my days off, I would put a lot of time into the videos and actually like um, sign up for the Helium 10, you know, make my LLC on, the, on my days off and stuff like that. Okay. When did you actually start looking at Amazon? Um, I want to say like August of uh, last year, August. Okay, and so then, we're in February for those of you that are watching. We're end of February of 2021, so about five, six months ago or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Why Amazon particularly? I mean, I'm pretty sure you were probably bombarded by videos of a million other things. Oh, yeah. I was, I was just busy at work and then, um, you know, I, looking into like a, a side hustle. Right. Um, I wanted, I wanted something, you know, get, make some more money. Um, I started looking at side hustles and I heard about Amazon FBA and it sounded, you know, passive, you know, something that I can do off my phone. You know, I'm busy, you know, I don't want to like store product. I don't want to be shipping, shipping packages all day, every day. So, you know, when I heard about Amazon FBA, you know, it sounded, sounded really good. I started looking into it. Okay. Um, was it before you went back to school or after that you started wanting to do this? Um, it was after, after I was already going to school. Oh, so you had already gone back yeah. to school? Yeah. So full-time job, two kids and school. And then you decided to, and you found time to do, do all that. Yeah. Okay. That's impressive, man. Um, why didn't you just do it on your own? I mean, a lot of people just say, you know, I'm going to just do it on my own. Um, I just wanted to do it and make sure I um, had a really low risk of failure. You know, I want to do it and I want to be successful. So I was like, um, I seen all these courses, these ads, and I was like, okay, you know, maybe a course would be good, you know, increase my uh, success rate. But then, I mean, didn't you say, okay, but I got to pay somebody instead of paying that somebody, I'd rather take that money invested in products. I mean, didn't you think like that? Um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people think like that, but um you know, based on the course, um, on your course, when, you know, I was signing up for it, you know, they were saying, hey, you can make your initial money back, you know, within the first month, which in my case was true. So, you know, there's no, no money lost there. I was like, all right, you know, if I can make my money back and this course can help me out to be successful, then if I'll make my money back, then it's a smart investment for me. Okay. Okay. So it was more of like time investment, you know, do I do this on my own, try to figure it out and go maybe a year? And then find yeah. out, like, invest in something, invest back in myself, get my return, and then just keep scaling from there. And I've got a community. I've got people that are going to show me how it's done correctly. And it was like, no, right. that sounds better. Let's do that, right? Yeah, like, if, if going back on it now, like, it, uh, if I think about it, like, if I didn't, if I try to do it just by, like, um, trying to get all the bits and pieces online and trying to do it together myself, it probably would have took me a long time or I probably just would have never done it. Right. You know? Okay, okay got it. Um what were you looking for in a mentor? Um, just like a step-by-step -step guide and like support. You know, I wanted like, you know, if I needed help with something, I wanted somebody there to, to guide me through the way. What was the thing that sold you? They're like, yep, that's it. Um, I think like the lifetime support, like the community, the community sold me. So I was like comfortable, you know, like uh, I don't want to just pay for a course and like, here's the information, good luck, you know, but yeah. uh the community that you offered was, you know, sounded really good. Like lifetime support, lifetime community sounded real good. Got it. Okay. Okay, good. Um, let's talk about your, your, your Amazon business. Uh, well, actually, before we get there, did you have any experience in selling online or owning your business prior to this before? Have you started no. business before? No, this is all like brand new to me. So you've never been a business owner. This is first business. Yep. Okay, you've never sold online or on Amazon or anything before. Never taken I mean, any. I sold. I sold. I used electronics on eBay, you know, like my old cell phone and stuff. But, but nothing like like uh, having an online official online business or anything like that. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many products do you have right now? Uh, just one. Okay, so tell us about that. How did you go about finding it? You know, how did it, how did you differentiate it? Why did you choose that product? Obviously, you don't have to tell us what the product is. Right. But just kind of walk us through that journey. Um, 
So I, I followed the course pretty much and doing the product research. Um, it was kind of taking a, a while for me. I tried doing it myself with um, Helium 10. Okay. Um, and at the same time, I hired one or two people on Fiverr to do product research. Okay. So it was myself and uh, the people on Fiverr. And um, once they gave me their results, um, I just double checked their work. I kind of landed on a product. So this is how I started. I landed on a product. Um, I, I looked at the, the list that they gave me. I found one that was that sounded really good to me. Okay. So I reached out to suppliers and stuff, and um, I got my samples. But like, I wasn't too impressed with the samples. So okay. my product that I actually launched was not the product um, that I sent to you guys to analyze. Okay. It was actually um, a related product. Interesting. So it was a, it was a related product. And um, my product is, is really, really competitive. And it does not fit like the typical criteria. Okay. But um, I did see a gap in the market that I was real confident that I could fill um, by differentiating and like branding and stuff like that. So I took a calculated risk. And Tell me it, more about that. So when you say that you found a gap, because we talk about this, uh, you know, it's not a lot of people get hung up on, well, this product is competitive. I probably don't want to get in. Right. But then right. also you have to look at, okay, is there a possible way for me to differentiate and stand out? How did you come to that conclusion? Why, why were you okay with taking that risk? Um, because I, I seen something that wasn't currently offered you know, all the competitors were just doing the same thing. Like it was, it was uh, really repetitive and there was bundling opportunities, but there was, everyone was doing different bundles, but not the type of bundle I was going to offer. Okay. So, so that's why I was like, you know what, this bundle doesn't exist. I could be um, one of the first ones um, to create this type of bundle of this product. And okay. I was confident that I can brand it, you know, better. Um, so that's why I chose that product. How did you come? So your product is bundled, correct? Correct. How did you How did you come up with the idea to bundle the product? What What did you do? Um, oh, just creative thinking, and then um, also like even Amazon has um, you know the frequently bought together and stuff like that. Um, it, it was there also, but I, I thought of it first, and I was doing some research on Amazon, and I did see that like people were buying them together, you know. Okay. So you looked at the frequently bought together, which yeah. usually shows up like on almost each listing under the, the photos. We talk a lot about that. It's very important to do that. And also sometimes to even look at like negative reviews, what are people talking about the product and how you can improve. Okay, good. Um, found, a pro found a gap in a competitive niche, launched the product, um, bundled it, found a supplier, how did you go about launching the product? Because I know recently you posted, you had almost hit a thousand dollars a day and you said, I turn off PPC. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. So like, um, I was real confident. I was like, you know what, this, this is going to be a hit. Um, you know, after I, I hired, you know, I chose my brand name. I was like, you know, that's a good brand name. I chose, uh, when I hired a, someone to do a package design, uh, the box of the product looked really good. You know, I was like confident, you know, this is something that, uh, that I could picture seeing like in the shelves of Walmart one day and, you know, it, it looked professional. It looked professional. So coming to launch, I was real confident, you know, like, Hey, this, this is, this is going to be good. Um, and it was like right around Christmas time too. Um, yeah. And sales just flew, man. Like they could not store my product on the shelf. Like they could, Amazon could not keep up um, with the sales. So um, I was thinking, you know, man, hopefully it's not just like the holiday season that's, that's generating all these sales. And then, yeah. you know, I sold out and then, I'm going to restock in January. I just continue to, to maintain those high sales. That's awesome. What was the most, uh, most sales you made in a day? Um, sales, I don't think it was like um, 1,200 and it was like maybe 27 units. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And that's one product. One product. One product. Okay, good. Um, let's see here. What's the... What's the target for you? So now that you've seen what is possible with launching one product, you know, what are you averaging per day right now in sales? In sales, um, I kind of like slowed down my sales purposely okay. just so I can maintain um, stock. Okay. Like Amazon really frowns upon uh, running out of stock. 
Sure. So I kind of um, slow down myself purposely, but. Um, At your peak, what was your average? Oh, a thousand dollar a day. If I had the, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating by like a month or two, once I invest all my profits back in inventory, um, the goal is to maintain those 1K days. So if uh, once I do that, if I can maintain an average of 1K a day in sales and profit about like 30%, so about $300 a day, if I could do $300 a day consistently, that'll be $9,000 a month profit off one product. One product. One product, yeah. Where do you want to scale this business to in the next 12 to 24 months? Oh, damn. 12 months. I mean, if I can do one product, do a 9,000 profit, and then maybe five products within the same niche or within the same brand, you know, maybe 50K a month. Do you see that possible? Oh, yeah. Now I do. I was real skeptical in the beginning. I was like, you know what? In my mind, I was, I was going to say, you know, if, if, if I make $1,000 a month profit, that would be pretty good. But, you know, I'm making nine times that now. So now it's, you know, sky's the limit. I'm going I'm to shoot high. What do you got to say to those that are like, ah, Amazon is saturated. You know, there is, there is not a whole lot of room right now. You know, maybe five years ago, yeah, but now. Um, I, I think it is saturated, but there's definitely lots of opportunity um, to be successful. I mean, I just, I just launched, what, two, two months ago? Right. And I mean, the market is not that different from two months ago and I'm killing it. So if I could do it, you know, I think everybody else can. Okay. Okay. So you see the possibility of you scaling this business to, to oh, yeah. endless, endless potentials. Got it. Okay. Um, do you think you would have gotten the amount of result that you have if you had gone through and done it alone? No, no way. I don't think so. Why do you think that? Um, there, there's too many, um, I mean, there's a lot of information out there, you know, and when you do it by yourself, like you get bits and pieces. Um, when you get, when you invest in the course, like this one, like you get everything together, you know, A to Z start to finish. Like, so I think that's what, what helped my, my success rate. Okay. What's, what's, I mean, I guess it's been only a short amount of time. But, you know, scaling a business to where you're profiting nine grand a month and then doubling, tripling that in the next six to 12 months, how do you see that impacting your life right now and your family and everyone around you? Freedom. I mean, as I told you earlier, I'm, I'm busy, man. I'm busy. Uh, you know, like I have time with I have time with my kids, but like it's, it's not quality time. I'm always I'm always tired, you know, working nights, you know, going to school to, to move up in my job. But I mean, hey, if this if this business, online business can scale to where I can, you know, walk away from my day job, then then I would have more freedom, more quality time at home, you know. Right, and you see that happening. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, would you ever call it quits on Amazon? Probably not. After what I've seen, it was possible. Probably not. Okay. Got it. Uh, why did you choose BJK University over anything else? I mean, there's a, a ton of other people out there offering similar right. stuff. I've seen a bunch of ads. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it was, um, I think the other mentors, like their ads, they just sounded like they, was, they were reading a script. You know what I mean? And, and when I seen your ad popped up, it felt like a, like a real person. Like, uh, you know, you seem passionate about it and stuff like that. It's, it seemed more real. So I was just like, ah, I'll go with this guy. Okay. Okay. So it was more of the kind of like, okay, this is more of a human being that I can talk to than, you know, kind of like right. a robot, like, okay. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your experience so far? With the course? Yeah. With the company, with everything. Yep. Uh, 10 out of 10, bro. Really? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. Uh, what's the one thing that we offer that really like has helped you the most? Um, I would say the community, community, the community you have, the face, the private Facebook group, you know, the weekly webinars. I haven't even been to a webinar in, in, in weeks, but I know that if I, I need to, is there, you know, right. uh, I can tell that you're passionate about this. So, you know, I mean, you do this all day, every day. So yeah, I think it's the community you built, bro. Okay. A lifetime support. Cool. Awesome. Um, were you ever, uh, hesitant to, to join 
at first when we first like when we were first yeah. talking or yeah. when we first you know yeah when i got on the phone i was like man this is a scam i'm about to get scammed but uh i don't know i just i just took a risk uh, some just told me like you know take a chance why why did you feel like it might be a scam because i never done anything like this you know like sign up for a, a ad you see on youtube about a course and i never paid for no course or anything like that it was just handing your know. card number over the phone right right it's just brand it's new. Well, right? <laughs> yeah it's, just, it's brand new you know i didn't even know courses were a thing you know I, I see the ads all the time but you know it was just the first time first time for me so i was kind of like skeptical what made you actually like make make the decision to go for it uh, i don't know man uh, maybe I honestly don't know, bro. I honestly don't know. It just not, something just told me like, hey, you know what? Like, take the chance. Because when I got on the phone, you know, it was kind of like, man, is this thing for real? Are they trying to sell me? Or, you know, am I going to get my money's worth? But then, I don't know. Something just told me like, take a chance, you know? like. Did you, um, I don't remember, because I don't think I got on the phone with you. I think one of the guys did, right? One of the guys did. But you called me, I think, the following day. Right, right. Yeah, I always do. Okay. Um, did you have to talk to your wife? Yeah, and mm -hmm. she was, uh, it was, it was surprisingly, uh, she was, she was for it. I called her on the phone. For it? Really? She was for it, I told her. Wow, that's surprising, okay. Yeah, so, like, when I told her, like, hey, you know, you know, I came across this thing called Amazon FBA, whatever, you can make money, and, and, you know, we can, we can run this business, you know, off the laptop and our phones, and, you know, we don't have, we don't have to ship the product and stuff like that. She was like, okay, okay, and then, you know, after I told her how much the course was going to be, she was like, kind of surprised like whoa but she was like do it <laughs> and then i was really? like i was like for real? i'm like all right wow because usually the spouse is the skeptical one especially oh, if she, oh, she was. or yeah. whatever you know yeah she was but she she was i think the the sound of like hey that this can be you know a stepping stone for something bigger mm -hmm. she was, okay. so she was able to see in the future and be like look if it's gonna take a few thousand dollars to be able to that's what i told her eventually you know spend time spend more time with the kids maybe quit her job as well focus on this be able to travel more oh, yeah. do all the stuff that you guys want it's like okay this is nothing right she's actually quitting her job in like two weeks wow oh really oh that's awesome man congratulations that's super cool um people that people that say hey i want to think about it i want to do more research i want to look at other options you know, I want to save more money. And then when this happens and I'll do this and I'll do that, you know, what do you have to tell these kind of people? Um, like I, I got into this because you know, I make good money on my job. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I have a lot of debt also. So I was like, man, you know, I need, I need more money. I want to get out of debt faster. Um, but if, you know, I went further into debt to, to pay for this course and to pay for product and to start this business, and now, you know, I'm making, I have the potential to make up to nine grand a month with this one product once I scale it. So, I mean, I mean, I would just make the move, you know, like you gotta, you gotta take chances. Okay. What's the number one advice that you have for people starting this out, wanting to start, or maybe, you know, already are in something and they're just starting this out? I would just say like, if you're in this course for all the new students that are in this course, just you know, trust the process, put the work in. I mean, it, it takes work in the beginning. It don't, don't get me wrong. It takes a lot of work. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at work at night trying to do stuff for Amazon and you know, I'm doing this at home too, at the same time going to school. Like it, it takes work. There's going to, there's going to be some hurdles. You're going to get stressed out, but put in the work, um, trust the process. Um, and you know, you'll get results if, and don't, don't be afraid of failure. You know, like this is a business. So, I, I told myself, like, if I took that risk with a competitive product, uh, so I told myself, like, you know, if this product doesn't do that well, I'm not going to give up on Amazon. I'm just going to do, you know, try to launch again. Right. Um, don't look at failure as a loss, but look at it as a lesson. Right. Cool, man. That's awesome. Well, uh, this is it for today. We do appreciate your time. I know you're a busy guy. Right. I don't want to take too much more of your time. Man, that's right. crazy. You got two kids, you got a wife, you got a job, you go to school, and you started the business. That's, that's insane. Right. Uh, congrats for that, by the way. Congrats that uh, your wife is quitting her job. That's awesome. I can't wait for you to quit the job and then do Amazon full-time. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's the goal.
Absolutely, man. Well, everyone that's watching, uh, this is Elvin here. If he was able to do it, you could do it. Uh, you know, and as he said in the beginning, people that say, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. You yeah, know, that's an excuse. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a living, breathing example that it's possible, even if you have all these things that you are doing. By the way, one last question. On average, about how many hours do you put in per week to do this? Uh, in the beginning, I was doing this like all day. Um, you know, I was, whenever I had time, like at work, um, I was doing a few hours at work at the same time on my phone, looking at product, doing product research, right. uh, talking to suppliers, you know, ordering samples uh, in the beginning, like all day. Um, now that, you know, I launch a product, um, just a few hours a day now, maybe like an hour a day. Got it. Cool, man. Well, do appreciate your time, my man. Hope to see you on the next webinar. I know you haven't, I haven't seen you there in some time. Yeah, I'll and, be there. Uh, awesome, man. Everyone watching, have yourselves a great day. Take care. All right.